Hello son, there are messages from many children. Sir, there are some questions in zoology. Okay, since I had asked you to comment, you have sent many messages. So I will make it clear on which questions you should challenge or not. Is it clear? Let's see quickly. So this is one question. Okay, match the following. So in this, children are confused between first and third. Sir, many children have used third, many children have used first. So no doubt, I will clear the confusion. If I talk about progesterone, then from where is progesterone released? If we talk about progesterone, then you can see that progesterone is released mainly from the ovary and in the ovary also it is clearly given that there is a structure called corpus luteum which secretes mainly progesterone. So corpus luteum option is also given. So for whom will you apply progesterone? For corpus luteum, okay? They have specified it. And if I talk about relaxin here, then relaxin is released from the placenta. But what are you saying clearly? Also, secreted by ovary. So placenta is not an option but ovary is an option, right? So you will put the second option, ovary. There is no doubt about this. You will put menocyte stimulating hormone pars intermedia, first option. And you will put catecholamines, adrenal medulla, third option. So where is the confusion coming in this, C? Okay, so fourth, this first option will come, according to this, according to NCERT. But where is the child getting confused? He is getting confused in this because he feels that progesterone is being released from corpus luteum. Sorry, progesterone, okay? He feels that it is being released from ovary, and relaxin is being released from corpus luteum, okay? So you have NCERT in front of you, so there is no need to challenge it because NCERT is correct. It is correct according to NCERT and according to the answer key released by NTA, the same answer is coming. The first answer is coming. So you do not have to challenge this. Is it clear? Absolutely. It is absolutely exact. Absolutely according to NCERT. No confusion. Now look ahead. There is a question of cardiovascular cardiac activity of heart is regulated by which hormones which regulate cardiac activity. Okay, so this is clearly understood that nodal tissue itself does it. This is also given in NCERT. In nervous regulation, medulla oblongata controls through vagus and axillary nerve. Yes, and in hormonal regulation in NCERT, adrenal medullary hormones epinephrine and non-epinephrine are given. So there will be no doubt here. It is mentioned in the regulation of heart chapter. Okay, but when we come to the hormone chapter, there is a line there. Glucocorticoids stimulate gluconeogenesis. But what is mentioned here? First understand. Here adrenal cortical hormones are mentioned. Is cortical hormone okay? Cortical hormone has not been specified. Which cortical hormone is it? Okay, there are glucocorticoids, mineralocorticoids, hormones of sex corticoids. Which hormones are they? Okay, hormones, cortical hormones. Understand what I am saying. It has not been specified. Now where is the confusion coming from? The confusion is coming from cortisol because cortisol is also no doubt a part of cortical hormone. So the child is saying that sir cortisol is a part of cortical hormone, okay? And cortisol is also involved in maintaining the cardiovascular system as well as kidney function. So here the child is a little confused. But actually if I look at it this way, okay? Conceptually, cortisol is never directly involved in the heart function. It also induces epinephrine nor epinephrine. Then this cardiovascular activity is regulated indirectly. It is not regulated directly. Okay, clear? Absolutely. So actually, conceptually, the answer given by NTA is correct. Okay, this answer has been given by NTA, ABC okay, and maximum people have done this. But this line is coming for confusion. Okay, so there is an option. If you want, you can claim. But, according to the concept, it is okay. Claim cannot be made on this also but the option is there, okay, it is up to you, there's a risk of 200 rupees, you can take it if you want, on top of that, on top of this question, okay, so, there were two questions, you must have cleared them, which ones do you want to challenge and which do you not, I have explained the concept according to NCERT, thank you, son.